Hello happy believers. In this video I would like to look at the power of God living among us. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe and share. I will start off with the story of creation. I am looking at Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 8. You can read the full version in Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 31 in your own time. It is interesting that the universe is mentioned in the very first line of the Bible, as follows. In the beginning, when God created the universe, the earth was formless and desolate. The raging ocean that covered everything was engulfed in total darkness, and the Spirit of God was moving over the water. Then God commanded, Let there be light, and light appeared. God was pleased with what he saw. Then he separated the light from the darkness. And he named the light day and the darkness night. Evening passed and morning came. That was the first day. Then God commanded, let there be a dome to divide the water and to keep it in two separate places. And it was done. So God made a dome and it separated the water under it from the water above it. He named the dome sky. Evening passed and morning came. That was the second day. This is only day one and two describing the creation of the world as it happened. A lot of people do not believe it happened this way. As believers, we believe in God's word and believe in what God says and proclaim it to be true. When God created the universe, it was formless and desolate and dark. There was only a raging ocean that covered everything. God's spirit was moving over the water and then the unimaginable happened. God commanded, God said, God spoke everything into creation. It just shows the power of God and the power of God's word. It shows our God is the all-powerful one. Everything is possible to God. Jesus looked at them and said, With men, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Mark chapter 10, 27. As we move through the Bible, we discover that it was not unusual for God to speak. He spoke to Adam and Eve, Noah, Abraham, Moses, he had an ongoing conversation with Moses. It was a real partnership in communication. He spoke to David, Elijah, Isaiah, Mary, Jesus, Peter, Paul, John, and many, many more. All these autobiographies are in the Bible, can also be Googled or watched on YouTube. I think if we take away from God's creation, then we lose the ultimate power of God. We just diminish it. Also, people query how it all happened in seven days. It says in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, But do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord... One day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Hmm, that's interesting. Jeremiah thirty-two seventeen says, O Lord, God, behold, you yourself have made the heavens and the earth by your great power, and by your outstretched arm, nothing is too difficult for you. Other scripture passages are Colossians 
1, 15 to 17. Christ is the invisible. Christ is the visible likeness of the invisible God. He is the firstborn son, superior to all created things. For through him, God created everything in heaven and on earth, the seen and the unseen things, including spiritual powers, lords, rulers, and authorities. God created the whole universe through him and for him. Christ existed before all things and in union with him all things have their proper place. Psalm 19 verse 1 The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Isaiah 40, 25 to 26. To whom can the Holy God be compared? Is there anyone else like him? Look up at the sky. Who created the stars you see? The one who leads them out like an army. He knows how many there are and calls them, each one by name. His power is so great, not one of them is ever missing. Psalm 8, 3 to 9. When I look at the sky, which you have made, at the moon and the stars, which you set in their places, what are human beings that you think of them, mere mortals, that you care for them? Yet, You made them inferior only to yourself. You crowned them with glory and honour. You appointed them rulers over everything you made. You placed them over all creation, sheep and cattle and the wild animals too, the birds and the fish and the creatures in the seas. O Lord, our God, your greatness is seen. In all the world. Hebrews 11, verse 3. It is by faith that we understand that the universe was created by God's Word, so that what can be seen was made out of what cannot be seen. I find once I start researching the different topics, there is more and more to elaborate on and I run out of video time. There are two other scriptures of interest which I will briefly refer to here. The first one is from the book of Job, chapter 38, 2 to 12, where God speaks to Job about his creation and questions Job, has he got the right to question God, and continues on in chapters 38, 39, 40 and 41, showing his constant power and workmanship of the universe. Then, out of the storm, the Lord spoke to Job. Who are you to question my wisdom with your ignorant, empty words? Now, Stand up straight and answer the questions I ask you. Were you there when I made the world? If you know so much, tell me about it. Who decided how large it would be? Who stretched the measuring line over it? Do you know all the answers? What holds up the pillars that support the earth? Who laid the cornerstone of the world? In the dawn of each day, the stars sang together and the heavenly beings shouted for joy. Who closed the gates to hold back the sea when it burst from the womb of the earth? It was I who covered the sea with clouds and wrapped it in darkness. I marked a boundary for the sea and kept it behind 
bolted gates. I told it so far and no farther. Here your powerful waves must stop. Job, have you ever in all your life commanded a day to dawn? The next piece of scripture shows not only did God create the wind, the waves and storms, but it also shows how he has control and command over the elements, demonstrated here by Jesus' authority over the storm by just saying to it, be quiet, be still. Jesus calms a storm, Mark 4, 35, 41. On the evening of that same day, Jesus said to his disciples, let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they left the crowd and the disciples got into the boat in which Jesus was already sitting and they took him with them. Other boats were there too. Suddenly a strong wind blew up and the waves began to spill over into the boat so that it was about to fill with water. Jesus was in the back of the boat, sleeping, with his head on a pillow. The disciples woke him up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we are about to die? Jesus stood up and commanded the wind, Be quiet. And he said to the waves, Be still. The wind died down, and there was a great calm. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you frightened? Do you still have no faith? But they were terribly afraid and began to say to one another, Who is this man? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Amazing stuff. Please like, subscribe and share so we can all live our wonderful Catholic faith together in all its richness. Next painting, very, very soon, watch this space. Until then, remember, God is an awesome, all-powerful, loving God.